A Washington, D.C. native, Tyrone Brown, being a military policeman with the Washington, D.C. Army National Guard, has given him the opportunity to don his uniform in many foreign countries. He was called to duty during the Gulf War, and now he's in Honduras, Central America, for his two-week annual training. Clear, clear. Brown and the rest of the 273rd Military Police Company are providing security for Joint Task Force Bravo, a U.S. military operation that supports engineer and humanitarian civic action exercises and programs in Honduras. My duty specifically will be a patrol supervisor. Some of the other men, we have um, different post uh, uh, gate duties and uh, sentry duties, things like that. A lab technician at D.C. General Hospital in civilian life, Specialist Tony Holloway explains the value of overseas training. Well, when we're overseas, we get a chance to do what we study in books the whole time. We really get a chance to put what we learn to work, and um, it's a good exercise. Well, here, these citizen soldiers are working with the regular Army. However, on this deployment, there's one more factor in the equation. Staff Sergeant Tyrone Brown explains. Uh, we're working with the, uh, some Hondurans. Uh, this, you know, they're the host country, so obviously we're going we're gonna to be working right close with them. The 273rd was one of many National Guard MP companies activated during the Gulf War. Still, even these Desert Storm veterans have found something new they can learn here. First of all, they learn in Spanish. <laughs> Reporting from Sotocano Air Force Base, Honduras, I'm Vince DeGroote.